All right, let's wash our tractor, man. Boy, does it ever need it. It's done a lot of work for us. It deserves to be cleaned up here. This is cool, man. <laughs> All right, I don't know how far away from this I can take it, but our baler needs a little bit of TLC here, too. Okay, so you uh, are sure you want to uh, part with this place, Michael? Yeah, you're you're fed up with farming and you're ready to go back to the big city life and don't want to do this anymore? Okay, how much again did you uh, say you wanted for this land? Mr. Hammond? <laughs> All right, we got to see how much Michael wants for this land. Michael wants... Uh, Farmland, we are looking at this property, 140,000, 140, Michael, what are you doing? Oh, you're looking at my tractor. Yeah, I know. I need to, I need to wash it. So, okay. Well, yeah, I, I think it's a deal. I think, I think we'll go ahead and, uh, and purchase this property from you. You got a field worth of, uh, of sugar beets there that we can harvest and comes with a farmhouse and a water pump and Plenty of grass that we can mow. Are are you're you're sure you you're giving up on farming? Yeah, you don't want to do this anymore. Okay, Michael. Well, I appreciate uh, uh, doing business with you, and uh, yeah, we'll let's meet up at the bank, and uh, we'll get the papers drawn up and transfer the money. All right, guys, welcome back to Farming Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to buy this property. So I had to spend a little bit of time off camera looking around at different places that I could afford. Um, and I've decided on this place because of the fact that it's got, you know, it's got a fairly decent sized field, but more importantly, it's got a lot of grass. So again, if we go back into the map and we press the farmland option, um, this property has a lot of grass around it. And I think, you know, we could, we could probably... <laughs> You get quite a few bales out of that. It's even got a little bit of timber on it. Um, plus the field, you know, with the sugar beets. Sugar beets aren't necessarily my first, uh, uh, you know, choice, but the field already has them. They're already growing, so we might as well purchase some property that has a crop on it so we can, you know, harvest it and make a little bit of money. Uh, but it goes all the way back here. And like I said, it's got all these, these trees here. I might end up, you know, cutting some of these trees down, actually. Uh, but there's plenty of grass, and then it's kind of got a, a little neat area back in here that we could potentially, you know, maybe later on put like a, a new farmhouse or something like that. So I believe this is going to be our first property, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and hop back into the map here and go back to farmland. We're going to uh, buy field 52, and boom, there we go, 140,000 down the drain, but we now have our own property. That's a beautiful thing. So now if we look at the field, it says it's owned by you, as in me. Uh, this field is 100% fertilized. It does need plowing, but, you know, obviously we can't do that with the crop in it. So um, so, it's, so basically right now it's going to give an 83% yield bonus because it hadn't been plowed before they planted it. And that's obviously, again, like I said, nothing I can do about that. But yeah, we got ourselves a house here now. Um, it's got this nice little kind of gazebo place out here. Uh, we can come here and sit down and, and enjoy some lemonade when we take a break. Excuse, excuse me. It's got a little swing here. And then, uh, like I said, a little water pump here. I don't know that it, I don't know if this actually does anything. Um, it's probably more for decoration. But again, the main reason, uh, excuse me, this is my house now, lady. Thank you. Okay, you can you can go now. Were you are you Michael's wife? Oh, you're right. Oh, you want you just wanted to get a few more things out of the house before. Okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. grab whatever you need and and then don't come back. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, we uh, we have our own land, guys. This is awesome. This is awesome. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, cut the grass on the property. I also need to move my stuff over here too. Um, so we'll probably. Uh, we'll probably cut the grass over here in the yard, and then we'll park our implements over here. Uh, it's going to be kind of difficult for me to harvest any grass around here just because it's such a tight spot, but we could at least mow it. Uh, but the rest of the grass we should be able to get, and I'll, I'll bet you we could pull, I don't know, maybe, I, I have no idea, You like 10, 15, 20 bales off of this, this spot. 
Um, so, you know, that'll make us a, a decent chunk of change so we can start making some money back. I am eventually going to get animals, but I don't think I'm going to do that immediately uh, until, you know, we have a little bit more money to our name. So, okay, so let's go ahead and hop in our tractor here. Uh, Mrs. Hammond is still... Oh, she's just waiting for us to move our tractor. Okay, gotcha. Um, so we don't need our bale fork right now. I think I'm just going to actually drop that right here. Well, we also have to drop off our, um, our, uh, front loader arms too. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put that stuff in here for now. And, you know, this is just our starter place. This is not necessarily going to be our, you know, our final uh, you know, property uh, in this playthrough, but it'll get us started. Gives us a place to call our own and, you know, park our stuff and sleep at night and that kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to have to switch over to that and then drop that off. And I push these forwards. There. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so yeah, let's go get our, um, oh, I just ruined one of my beats. I got to be careful about that. So the crop destruction, by the way, I figured it out. It only counts on my crops. So if I run over somebody else's crops, it doesn't destroy them. Um, but I can destroy my own crops if I'm not careful. So we got to be careful about that, of course. I, I have that on deliberately because it's real, you know, realistic. Um, and, you know, we'll have to keep that in mind when we're harvesting and doing other things. Uh, so we might have to buy some skinny tires and stuff like that. So let's go back down to the uh, the machine shop or the the equipment shop, I guess. And I want to start moving stuff over here. But, bef but we're going to bring our front end mower over first and start clearing uh, some, some grass out of the way. And then all the rest of this stuff, I'll, you know, I'll get moved over there, too. So I guess I need to come back at it from this direction. Okay, so let's attach to you. And the owner of uh, Clever Motors here is happy now that we have our own uh, property because, you know, he wants us to get our stuff off of his, out of his uh, driveway or his parking lot here. <laughs> So we will oblige him and do that, uh, but we just got to make some room for everything first. Now I'm thinking too, because, uh, you know, we have quite a bit of grass, but we're going to have some tight spots. I might not use the, the rear mower on this. We might just use the front mower and, you know, the advantage that that'll do is it already makes this, you know, the nice little windrows for us. Um, oh, you know what? I don't think I can get through there. Hey, someone's on, someone else is on my property. Because I, I think, you know, just because we have tight spots and all that, it might be more trouble than it's worth to try and use the bigger mower and then have to come through with the windrower after the fact and make, you know, windrows. So I think we're just going to use this mower. All right, so let's turn this guy on and get the mowing here. Oh, okay, so that little bit of land there is actually not ours, so our property line does not go all the way to the fence. Interesting. Now we'll take it back as far as we can then. There is a, um, a small, like, you know, hand or walk behind mower that you can buy or lease that would probably be a little bit better for really small areas like this, but I think our front end loader will do do the job okay. Or I'm sorry, I said front end loader, front end mower. So it doesn't look like our mower knocks down brush and stuff. There's probably something else in the game that'll do that, like maybe um, I think it's like a, a forestry mulcher or something can do that. Um, but for now, we'll just. I guess we'll just hit the grass. Okay. Now let's see if we can 
Well, I don't know if there's even any point in mowing back here. It's not like we can get the baler back here and... Well, actually, we might be able to back the baler up here and get a little bit of grass, but... I don't know, is it worth the hassle, though, for just that little tiny bit? I'm not sure. Well, that stuff is... movable. Can we even get through there? Oh, we can get through there. Look at that. But, yeah, see, it's not really cutting this grass, though, because that's not our land. So, yeah, I don't think it's really worth trying to cut behind the house there. Okay, let's go over here. Can we actually get through here? Nope, not quite. Uh-oh. This just about got us stuck. We should be able to back the baler up in there to get that stuff, I think. Alright. Let, let's go through here. I just want to stay right on the edge. Let's go to this view for a second because that tree's in our way. We're not far enough over. I gotta be careful though, because again, if I run over the beets, I'll actually destroy them. We just need to make sure we're lined up good. It doesn't look like the mower destroys them, but my tires definitely will. Okay, so, can we cut any of this grass, or is this on their land? A little bit of it we can. Right, back up this way. go. So that makes a couple of nice windrows that we can bail up later on. Okay, let's turn that off for a second. Um, now what we're going to do is drive back through here. And then turn this way and start heading down this direction. Beautiful. All right, now, Let's see what we can do inside these trees here. This is going to be a little trickier. Oh, we got caught up on the branch there. Can we get around it a little bit? There we go. Oh, you know what we can do now is we can get a power washer because we have our own property now and get this tractor cleaned up. It is a mess. So we'll work on that at some point in this episode. All right, we got through there.
Okay, how far over this way can I move before it says we're not on our property anymore? Yeah, it says you don't have access to this land, so that's probably right on the very edge right there. Alright, let's go back up this way. Hit that little patch there. What's up with all these people walking on my property? Are they looking for a free handout or something? Alright, now let's see what we can do in this little area. I don't think we're really doing anything because we're too close to the land. Hey, watch out there, dude. We're mowing grass. Don't just walk right in front of us. Unless you want to get chopped up. Seriously, dude? <laughs> oh, we killed him. <laughs> oh, no. There he is. He came back. We chopped him up, man, into little tiny pieces, but no, he just uh, disappeared for a little bit and came back. Good Lord was watching out for him, I guess. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now we should be able to make another nice straight swath down this way. Alright, 
so that went pretty pretty well overall. For the most part, we have decent, you know, windrows for the baler, except for the parts that were just really hard for me to maneuver. Uh, so let's take our mower uh, back over to the house now and figure out where we're going to stow it. I want to bring all the other stuff over here too, but we need to... Well, actually, we have we could probably bring it all over now because I, I want to put it all over here. Unless I want to try and back the baler in there. Um, I guess we could try it. Excuse me, lady. These people continue to help themselves to my property here. Okay, so let's see. Where are we going to park the mower then? Uh, the front mower. Why don't we put it back here for now? We'll put it right by the swing, I guess. Okay. Well, this thing's 90% full, too, so yeah, it's about ready to pop out of bail. All right, let's go ahead and do this um, first. Well, actually, let's do the inner in uh, windrow first. I love that. That's such a cool animation. It's like I missed a little bit of grass on the edge there, but that's all right. Okay. Clear the branch of that tree. Looks like it. Um, all right. What I think I'm gonna do is pull it in this way. Have to pick all that up. I don't think I can get through there. Uh, actually, I might I might be able to do that. It'll be tight. Michael's got to move out of the way. Oh, look at that! All right, we'll take it. Okay, we got a bunch of loose spots that we're going to have to kind of zigzag back and forth over to clear it, clean up over here. We don't want to get too close to the beats either with the tractor. Now this is going to get interesting. Uh, let's get this outer one first. And we're already almost full again. Can we make that turn? Oh, we can. Look at that. Turning radius on this thing's amazing. 
Sometimes it messes me up, but it's good stuff. Okay. Now let's just keep going along this very edge here. There is hay down there, it's just hard to see because of the brush. Polaroids all scattered across the dusty floor In the backseat of my Chevy 58 Along with bits of candy wrapper Looking back to when our castle was a shack Vacation was making figure eights in the parking lot Remember when we used to forget when we forgot It wasn't like we didn't work hard enough I'm trying to hold on to all the things that we did right But how could I forget about you leaving Since my heart has never stopped bleeding All that I can see is that I lost you Looking for a reason to forgive you Sometimes I even want to be with you Just the way you say that it's alright, alright now I am tearing down this wall go by and gradually the tears run dry but i'm still here looking for your face in the faces crowd long after her our final ship had drowned it wasn't like we didn't work hard enough i'm trying to hold on to all the things that we did right but how could i forget about you leaving since my heart has never stopped bleeding All that I can see is that I lost you Lost you then Looking for a reason to forgive you Sometimes I even wanna be with you Just the way you say that it's alright Alright now I am tearing guys that is it for baling i gouged my uh, sugar beets over there which is irritating as all get out but sometimes that happens i guess all right so um let's drop this bale off here with these other ones i guess since we have quite a few of them over here and uh, now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to the shop and get the rest of my equipment put it in the yard and then we'll get our trailer here let's uh, stop this we'll get our trailer pick up these bales and go sell them and make some make some money so I you know the other thing I'm thinking about too is I might get a go rent a chainsaw and just cut these trees out um, it's just such a pain in the neck you know they made this this whole entire job probably three times longer than it otherwise would have been so yeah I'm not sure about that I'll have to think about it some more I guess yeah, that's not too bad it's uh if I wanted to 
Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's not so bad. Okay, let's drop her off there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get the rest of my stuff, and then uh, when we're done with that, we'll get a power washer out. We'll do some washing, and then then we get gonna load our hay bales up. All right, guys, we have all of our stuff here, including our trailer. Uh, so let's go get our loading stuff. Uh, make sure I don't run over my any more of my beats. And we'll get this thing loaded up, and then we're going to take it down and sell it to whoever's given the best price for it at the moment. We'll check that after we get it loaded. Okay, so we got our trailer loaded up here. Uh, this trailer does some kind of weird drift thing. I uh, don't know what's going on. I, I had it parked 90 degrees the other direction earlier. It's like, um, yeah, see how it's moving when I get close to it like that? That is really bizarre. Anyway, um, I think, here, let's get those put down I think I can quickly unstrap and then restrap yeah restrap those to lock those in and this the way the game works is all right hold on why doesn't it let me undo that um, even if the straps not actually holding it down or in this case holding it down properly it's it's still basically glued to the trailer there we go all right so we have let's see one two three four five six seven fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so we pulled 17 bales silage bales off of our field here which is really good that's more than i would have guessed we would have gotten so let's hook up to the trailer and then we're going to look and see who's got the best going to give us the best price when we were doing the contracts, we took it to the to the animal dealer, but that doesn't mean that they got the best price. Still, uh, well, actually, we did that. We were taking it there for the con contract, anyways, so that doesn't mean it was the best price at all. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty pleased with how many bales we got uh, off of here. I've had a couple more run-ins with my sugar beets, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, not sure why it didn't let me pick this grass up, but uh, it didn't, so I guess it'll just have to sit there for now. Okay, so let's stop here and open this up, and we want to go to prices, and we want to go to silage. Um, wheat, barley, sorghum, sugar beet seeds, silage right here. And it looks like the animal dealer still is given the best price, even though it's dropping a little bit there. I'm just making sure silage, there isn't like silage bales separate from just silage, but it looks like that's what it is. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, run this up to the animal dealer then and get it sold and make some money. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect all of these, and I'm going to try and push all of the bales off from this side. And just get them on the ground, and then 
Maybe we could even just kind of push them into the spot without too much difficulty. We'll see how it goes. I'm starting to think, though, you know, I'm getting better with the, the forks and the front loader and all that, but it still takes a long time to do this. Maybe it's the trailer. Maybe I just need to find a trailer that has some walls on it so I can just dump them in there because, you know, they they tend to, to fall off and i got to move them around. And it's just uh, it has got to be a better way, right? Um, so that either means better trailer or we throw 50 grand down on that the picker upper thingy okay so we have 81,891 bucks let's see what we end up with when this is all said and done Oh wow, we're only getting 145 bucks for these? I thought we were getting like um, 500 and something to bail before. What? Why are these um so cheap now? When I when I brought these over for the contract, we were getting over five hundred bucks. Oh man, that sucks. It's the same day too, in game day. Maybe it's maybe the price did the price really drop that far just in the same day? I hardly believe that. Huh. All right, that's disappointing. Well, we're not going to make so much money after all. Maybe we should go back to doing contracts. Ah, that sucks. All right, here, I'm going to see if I can just push these over here. This is such a pain in the neck. I need a, I need a bulldozer for this. Well, all right, that's it. Uh, I want to look at something here. If we go space, it is September. So, I mean, it wasn't the worst time to sell them, but definitely not the best either. But I was working under the assumption that the price would be the same as it was when we were doing the contracts. And obviously it is definitely not the case. So, you know, for the amount of work that, that took to do all that, I'm starting to have second thoughts about whether or not hay is the, a good choice for making money here. Okay, so if we go into... Um, I'm trying to remember. How do we get into the... thing that shows us the construction menu and all that. I don't remember. We're going to have to look it up. Left shift P. There we go. Okay. And um, what we're looking for now are tools. And yeah, this thing here is the uh, is the washer. And it costs us forty five hundred bucks, which is less than we <laughs> that we made all those doggone bales. Um, okay, let's put that there, and uh, there we go. All right, now uh, what we do—I don't know how close to this we have to be—but we walk up to it, and oh, maybe we have to. Maybe we do have to be closer. 
I thought a little thingy would pop up on the screen for so, for us to press a key to. Oh. Oh, you know why? Because I didn't have the help menu on. That's why. Okay. All right. Let's wash our tractor, man. Boy, does it ever need it. It's done a lot of work for us. It deserves to be cleaned up here. That's looking better. Much better. Might as well get the front loader and the spikes and all that too. Yeah, you can definitely tell it could use some new paint. This is cool, man. <laughs> all right, I don't know how far away from this I can take it, but our baler needs a little bit of TLC here too. looking better fresh water hose restricts you from going any further oh okay our um a pottinger baler should be pretty clean we only use it the one time we we'll hit our wind drawer two it's not too terribly dirty and might as well do this one too why not okay can we clean our dirty house <laughs> the thing's filthy doesn't look like it all right that takes care of that our mowing equipment probably could use a little bit of yeah oh wow this thing's filthy well, hello, lady. How are you? Um, yeah, that needs to be washed too. But we're gonna have to, you know, bring it around to do that. So let's do that. Get that done. Looks a lot better when it's clean, doesn't it? You stuck there, lady? I think she was. We're going to need to take our tractor in for repairs, and we're getting low on fuel also. It's probably going to tell me I'm getting too far away, but... You don't actually have to spray the entire surface. You just spray it, and the game will eventually clean the whole thing up. It's kind of fun. <clears throat> fun to do that though just because it's more realistic that way here let's spray you oh I don't think she appreciated that <laughs> all right man everything's nice and clean it's looking good man looking good lady you are gonna have to move or I'm gonna run right over the back of you because this is coming straight back Where'd she go? It swallowed her up. Okay. Um, why don't we just put our... Uh, we'll put our front motor right up against the fence for now. All right, guys. Well, that... I think is it for this episode. It is uh, two thirty in the afternoon. Are there any contracts? There are no contracts available. How interesting. Okay. Um, we have to make sure we harvest these sugar beets. Uh, oh wait a minute. Sugar beets are right here. Oh, we don't have to worry about that till October or November. Okay. 
I must. I think I was looking at the potatoes the last time. So we we still have a little bit of time before we have to harvest the sugar beets. I don't know how much money these will will bring us. It'd probably bring us just a tiny bit more if I wasn't doing crap like this, though. Oh man, for Pete's sake. Anyway, yeah. Um. So when these are ready to harvest, what we will do is uh, we'll rent the the equipment that we need to do that, and then um. No, that's not what I wanted to do. If we look at this and we go to sugar beets. Yeah, see if we can if we harvest them in October or even November and maybe store them until if we stored them till January, we'd get the best price. But I don't know. I don't know if I can afford to do that because, you know, I need money, right? So unless we can just keep working contracts until, you know, until we can do that, um, that might be what we'll have to do. But, yeah, this, uh, all of the hay, that you know, for the amount of work that I put into that, and, the, you know, we did not get a, a very good payout for that. So I don't know uh, what to do about that, to be honest with you. Um you know, using the spike and the flatbed trailer just takes such a long time to load. So if we're going to seriously do hay, I think we need, uh, we can't do it right now because it's just going to be too expensive. But I think we need to invest in the, the bale pickup trailer thingy um, and not mess with this because it just takes too long. Either that or like I said, uh, I know this trailer has attachments for the ends, but that's not going to really do a whole lot of good for the sides. Can we even look at that in here? I don't know how to get into our, like, garage menu uh, without being at the shop, but I'm, I'm sure there's a way to do it. Player interactive, vehicle. Oh, P. There we go. Okay. It's the P key. Um, so if we went to, um, I think we have to probably go to the shop. We can sell this, but that's not what I want to do. Show on map, sell. I think we might, <clears throat> excuse me, have to take this back to the shop. In order, oh, this is another way we can get into that construction menu. Oh, that's cool. This allows us to build stuff. Can I, <clears throat> excuse me, can I move this in this menu? It gives me the, the option to sell it, but it doesn't let me move it. That's weird. You'd think you'd be able to, to move it, you know, relocate it somewhere. Huh. There's all kinds of buildings and stuff. Excuse me, barns, sheds, that sort of thing. Production facilities, animal pens. Um, the big, the big cow barn is. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's almost, it's like almost three quarters of a million dollars. That's crazy. It'll be a while before we can afford that. I mean, even just the open corral, seventy-five thousand dollars. Um, oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Uh, we might uh, think about doing some chickens, though. Um, we got pigs, we got sheep, we got bees. Others. Oh, that's a doghouse. That's cool. A tw wait, what? A $2,500 doghouse? Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> that's expensive. These are fences and thingies. Lots of cool things in here, and then and then there's mods too that you know make where you can do even more stuff. So, okay, well, I'm going to probably I don't know do some more contracts. I guess I'm not really sure what to do. We can't do anything about the beets, of course, until they're ready to harvest. Um, and the thing is, is if I did decide to store them then i'm gonna to have to get a silo or at least you know maybe a side load trailer to keep them in until the time comes and if i can just you know keep doing 
uh, contracts until, you know, November or December. I could also speed up at the time, too, and I'm planning on doing that in the winter anyways. Uh, to sell those things, because then, you know, then we can start planting other things in our field and all that sort of thing. Well, actually, no, we could start doing that after we harvested them, even if we didn't sell them right away. So, whatever, we'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway, I, uh, you know, I'll be honest, guys, I'm a little bit disappointed with the money we made off of that hay, especially after all the work in it. So, um, we'll have to, f well, I'll have to figure out how that's going to work. We could obviously make more money if we, if we had a lot more hay, like a, you know, a big hay field. But if we did that, then I would definitely get the pickup trailer thingy. Uh, because it's just uh, it just takes too long to do that with the spike uh, but you know we can definitely cut the hay for our own critters once we start getting you know getting cattle and stuff like that so it's still going to be worthwhile I'm just not so sure if it's going to be worthwhile for the purpose of selling so I'll think about that and um, yeah we'll go from there so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel Leave a comment and share out the video. I'm going to sit here and have a lemonade on my front porch, my filthy front porch, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.